My name is Carrie Ann Arab. I live in Western Canada and I have chosen to work on the Poilan Challenge within this inspirational leadership course. I'm actually very grateful to be able to work on this particular challenge because going through this course over the last several months um, has reminded me of a forgotten childhood dream of my own to open a cafe and bakery. And so uh, I'm thankful that Apolonia Poilan was part of this course and has presented the challenge that she has. Her challenge is, how can the company, uh, a deeply family-owned company based on strong values, continue to grow and innovate all the while maintaining integrity to those family values? Quick reminder of the family business before we get to the solution to the challenge. Established in 1932 by Pierre Poilin, who moved from Normandy to Paris to bring handcrafted sourdough bread to Parisians. The business taken over by his son Lionel in the 1970s, who grew the business, additional storefronts in Paris and expanding to London, and creating a wholesale division whereby they started to sell the bread to resellers, uh, restaurants and hotels. In 2002, the business passed to the third generation of the Poilin family, Apollonia, Pierre's granddaughter, who at the young age of 18 had to step up and take over the family business after the tragic death of her parents. Apollonia further innovated the business and opened the Bar de Cuisine concept, which was a cafe adjacent to the bakery, selling open face sandwiches and baked goods. The business enjoys a tremendous amount of success today. How did it get there? Because of the very strong family values and family business values that the business was built upon. Locally procured products are all the ingredients for the bread. Handcrafted bread, hand kneaded, hand shaped, and baked in wood fired ovens. All of these are unchanged since the start in 1932 by Pierre Poilin, and Apollonia stays true to these values and this business ethic. This hands on approach is really what has enabled Poilin to enjoy the success it sees today. So the challenge of growth while staying sincere to the family business values is one really of inherent contradiction. Family values versus international reach, hands-on sort of local approach, growing markets, sustainability versus growth. So how do you meet this challenge? The model that I propose to bring the Poilin niche to more people in more places uh, is one of replication rather than just expansion or growth. But what does replication mean in this context? Let's take a sourdough loaf. Sourdough is created from a starter. You create a batch, you have a starter, and you create a second batch. And I propose the same idea really for the business. In this case, the key ingredients for the starter dough are the recipe, unchanged since 1932, local ingredients, to the baking ethic, handcrafted bread, hand kneaded and wood fired, and three, the business model, the bakery with an adjacent cafe and the ability then to bake and sell as on a wholesale concept. These three key elements are the starter dough, if you will, that you then take and replicate in a new market and create a new batch or a new business. Let's call this replication model a loose franchise model. So why replication over growth? I propose it because it is more aligned with the values of generative and generous leadership and sustainable leadership. And it's very closely aligned with the Poilin values, whereby Apollonia really wants to share the values of the business. And this can be done through this model. So let's be practical. This loose franchise model will first be tested in Canada, a market that is very aligned from a values perspective and also has significant market potential. Sustainability is a key societal value in Canada. The slow food movement uh, is growing here. The 100 mile diet concept was coined in Canada. And there's a great concern for made local, buy local, produced local. Health and nutrition are a value, a conscious lifestyle choice among Canadians. And there's a cultural connection between Canada and Europe whereby food is something that is of high regard in one's daily life. 
Furthermore, market research shows that high-value bakery products that bring nutritional benefits will likely increase in market share in the coming years. So this replication model in Canada, I propose a name, Pain Maison de Poilin, in keeping with the French heritage and tradition, but having a new name that represents the new market. The three key elements to ensure success for this model are actually the four key elements. One is identifying like-minded and like-valued franchisees, baker come entrepreneurs come leaders. As good as the bread is, it's the values really that need to be held in the local franchisee. So this essential element of the business can grow and expand and be shared. Initial training with Palan will be essential not only to learn the baking technique and the recipes and the model of the business, but also to partake in the inspirational leadership course and to learn the savoir uh, relier method. Three, a community of bread bakers will be established through this, and this needs to be nourished through deep connections and ongoing connections with head office for new product development, as well as a coordination of a training schedule of internships and exchanges between the bakeries and the bakers. And fourthly, defining the terms of the franchisee arrangement needs to be established. What are the qualities and characteristics that the franchisee needs to uphold to be eligible to keep that affiliation with the Poilin name? And what are the elements of the Poilin brand that will be used to support the growth and development of the franchisees in their respective markets. Success for this model is not going to be measured in a typical way. It won't be either Apollonia knowing the names of all the bakeries and all of her businesses on a daily basis, but rather her inspiring other bakers to make sure that they know the names of the bakers that they're working with in their respective businesses. Through this model, the name Poilan will be known in a larger international market and will be remembered by locals in connection to the local story and the local aspirational legacy that will be established in that respective market. Apollonia will be following in the footsteps of her father and her grandfather in a modern way by building on what was good from the past, the recipes, the craft, the baking ethic, with what's working in the present, the business model of bakery, cafe, wholesale, to create a new sustainable model for the future and increase the reach of the Poilin name and for her own development as an inspirational leader, reach her apex, I think, in the food industry internationally. Thank you.